generally actually we include gender more than we think it's just we never mention it in project documents you learn only when you do it and i think that's why having this tool is really good because you start um you know focusing on that and really just putting the words onto the paper because there is actually more mainstream than we're you know promoting to think ahead of how the project will be implemented having in mind gender mainstreaming and not just have some uh, usual clothes that we'll keep in mind or we'll do the gender uh, and that's it. But to think of the concrete tools that have to be budgeted, that have to be implemented in practice. But for example, when we talk about border management, it's not just about the number of female border guards trained, but also how you mainstream gender during an identity management um, uh, initiative or during uh, designing information systems for uh, border agencies um, in the countries where we work. And then you do the gender marker to really establish how well you've done in terms of integrating gender in your um, project design. It is not possible to write and to implement projects for migrants and for governments um, neglecting gender aspects. Analyzing and understanding the differential roles, the differential benefits, the differential needs of men, women, girls and boys is very important. And as such we try to see where the needs are of those populations and what we can possibly do in order to, to help them. It is important to mainstream um, all of the gender-related uh, components and issues within all sections of the project. It's for the benefit of our beneficiaries. We should always keep this in mind and make it an ultimate goal. Where there's a will, there's a way. And the tools are out there to make sure that we mainstream gender throughout our IOM activities. And colleagues are also available to guide us. I think the machine is ready to, to move and, and, and to make sure that we will um, succeed. Now the quality of our projects vis-à-vis -vis gender dimension, of course, uh, are much, much uh, better than uh, they used to be in the past. It's the future of project development, it's the future of project Management. It's very important and this is a very essential need uh, for any humanitarian actor in any uh, operation. That was something that we discovered thanks to the uh, insistence of the uh, gender marker training.